Oh, goodness. There's no problem. Oh, okay. All right. Just let me know if my I sound off from what I'm showing you because I'm not even going to look at my camera because it's not working. <laughs> okay, but why are you still beeping me? Because now I'm getting nervous. Just start the class. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. Sorry about the delay, guys. First time on YouTube. Um, today, uh, Kim and Amy are going to be my monitors. And if you have any questions, you can ask them. And I'm still getting, what is this? Okay. All right, good. <laughs> um, so Kim and Amy will be monitoring for me. If you have any questions, you can ask them. And they will send it to me like they're typing to me now. Uh, so we're going to be making um, a mini desk organizer. This is a teacher gift. And I just got it propped up here. Uh, this is using the paper from, oh, I'm so sorry guys, this is not working because I can't see if I'm showing you guys the right stuff. I hope I am. <laughs> Hopefully you can see. <laughs> Just let me know if I'm off, because I can't tell. Um, so I made this box, and I'll show you how to do this. Little um, post-it note holder. And I decorated a few pencils. I don't know if you can see those. I'll show you how to do that. And there's some paper clips that we've done. That and of course a chocolate bar because every teacher needs a chocolate bar. So I'll show you how I covered that. Let me just check real quick here. It's working. Okay, okay, great. All right, I'll just keep one then. <laughs> um, and the box itself is made out of a cake box. So let me move this stuff out of the way. I'm working in my son's room. Uh, because they're replacing my furnace and air conditioning and it's very loud so I came upstairs <laughs> so it's kind of all discombobbled but this is the box I'm going to show you how to do that and it started out well mine's a pie crust box you can use a cake box or you know whatever kind of box you want I went ahead and gessoed mine. So let's go ahead and get started since I'm running a few minutes behind. Uh, the first thing you want to do is grab a pencil. Um, let me find a pencil. There we go. A ruler. You decide how far down you want the front of the box. Mine is, let's see. I've got three and a quarter inches. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to go from the bottom and measure three and a quarter. And do it on the other side. And then draw a line. And then I'm going to go three and a quarter on the sides. That, so they will connect and we'll do it on both sides. You don't want to do it to the back, just the front and the two sides. And that's where we're going to cut the box. So you can see we've got the line going all the way around now. Pencil line. And we're just going to cut down. Hopefully you guys can see me. Okay. Um, on mine, I did end up doing, instead of straight across, I added a little, uh, just like a little curve, or not curve, I'm sorry, angle. <laughs> so I cut the one side, and when I cut 
this off, I'll save it as my template and flip it to the other side so they'll be the same size. Whoops, sorry about that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting. I love recycling. Recycling is very important to me. I've always done it ever since I was small. Like my grandmother and I used to decoupage and make Christmas ornaments out of the Christmas cards from the year before. <laughs> So we've always done that. We're just cutting across the pencil line. Let me grab my bigger scissors. Huh. Something in there. Okay, when I did the first one, it was so perfect. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut the little side piece off now. Oh, yes, the link for the chipboard pieces I'll be using um, is in the description box. All right, I'm just going to flip this over like that and draw the line. Hopefully you can see this. So I have the same angle as the other side. Now I'm just going to cut that off. And there's our box. You can cut this piece off or glue it down. I'm just going to glue it down. So it gets, well, you know, no, actually, I'm just going to cut it off. What was that? So there's our box. And this piece that we cut off, we're actually going to trim it down. Cut all the little pieces off and I'm gonna glue that onto the back just to make it a little more sturdy give it a little more oof, more um, stability in the box so I'm gonna glue that actually right to the back like that so just trim it just a little bit more let's just get some glue I'm using um, Scott's quick dry in a fine line bottle. Oops. It might actually be stuck. <laughs> there we go. See, it's a fine line applicator. Just switched it to this bottle. It gives you a little more control over your glue. And then we're just going to glue it on. Make sure it's dry. So I'm just going to set this aside and let this dry for a minute. Actually, that should be fine. All right, it's okay. <laughs> I notice I've got a little bit of a lip on this side, so I'm just going to trim that down to make it even. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, you need a fine line applicator. Find it. Yeah, they're really, really great. I love them. <laughs> and let's see. Let me straighten this up a little bit. All right, I've already got this coated with gesso. What I'm going to do is just drop my paper. Uh, I'm using. This is a uh, deco art uh, chalk paint that I'm going to use just to give it uh, some color around the edges. So let's go ahead and do that. My paintbrush. Didn't rinse my brush out quick enough. <laughs> Off. 
I love this color. It's just such an it's called it's actually called vintage. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I should have shook it. It's a really thick paint, so it's the way I wanna get this color put on. Um, I'm just doing the edges, because we're gonna cover it with paper. But I like to leave some of the edge showing. Oh. Nice and quick. You can paint the inside. Oh, I should put down my, sorry about that. Just put this down my paint mat. Okay. At this point, you can paint the inside where it would be showing. The sides here so i'm just going to do that real quick because this is a te uh, teacher gift for tomorrow so <laughs> i'm going to make sure it looks nice <laughs> danny has two teachers so just give them a little swipe and then we'll do the sides sorry if i don't have this in the camera guys i really can't see so i don't know if i do or not <clears throat> you want some of the paint oh yeah yeah it's great paint it comes in some really nice colors i have one that's rust i'll show you too it's really pretty this is like a blue green gray color it's awesome and it dries really fast because it's chalk paint. Just paint the edge. And I hit the bottom. All right, so I'm just gonna let this dry for a minute. It looks really awful, but you know, <laughs> it's all good. Set this paint aside. And let's go ahead and, while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out um, actually, I have my heat gun here somewhere. Me too. I thought I brought it. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to use my heat gun. Hopefully, it's not too loud. It dries pretty fast. It doesn't need much. So now I'm just going to take the measurements and I'm just going to write them down real quick so I don't have to keep going back to it. And you just It just depends on what, your, what box you're using and what size it is. Um, I'm going to do, oh, got a question. Hold on, guys. Let's see. <laughs> Kim's box came. Very good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, is it loud? I'm sorry, Amy. See, it's when I'm downstairs, it's not loud. All right, so I'm going to measure. It just depends on what size your box is. 
to the measurements that you'll be covering with the bot, the cutting the paper with. Sorry. So well, less than three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Get this out of the way. Um, the paper I'm using is just a kind of a mix of different papers. Uh, we're going with the beach theme. So these are the two papers of the decorative. Um, I really love that seahorse. And the main part is going to be covered with this paper. It looks like old worn wood. I thought that was pretty. And I also have it in this color. It's like a tanny gray color. And then I have some solids that I'll be using as well. So these are this is the color palette. Okay. So move that out of the way. Cut it. Uh, what was it? Four and three quarters. Remember, your sizes are going to be whatever size your box is. So that's why I'm not like really going through and giving you sizes. I like to try to even up the sides for the uh, paint to show through on the sides around all the edges. I can't talk today. Sorry. <laughs> okay, that's better. So you'll see that'll cover that piece. And I'm just going to ink the edges. I'm using Gather Twigs today, the Gather Twigs Distress. Gonna glue this in place. Again, I'm using the quick dry. Oops, <laughs> that was loud. You can use uh, tape if you want at this point too. Whatever works best for you. I just need to pull this up so I can see where I'm placing it. Make sure it's glued down. And there's our front. Okay, now I'm going to do this back piece. I like to take it all the way down to the bottom of the box and measure. That way it looks finished on the back. So we're gonna go with five and a quarter. And I think I'm gonna make the, see how I've got the lines going this way. I think for the back, I'm gonna have it going this way. So I need to cut this. 
Wait, is that right? No, that's not right. <laughs> I think so, I'm cutting it right. Yeah, find the corner. Okay. <laughs> And then it is four and three quarters. I feel like this piece has got more of the blue in it. See, that'll be the back. Oh, are you guys back on? Okay. Hmm, can you guys see me? Okay. All right. So this will be the back piece. I'm just going to ink the edge real quick. See, you'll never know that's a pie box or a cake box, whatever you use. <laughs> you can see me. Okay. back yes okay excellent all right so I just inked the edges again with the gathered twig and I'm going to glue it in place Sides, you can either paint. I was going to do the back first so I don't use up my last big piece of paper. <laughs> okay, well, this four and three quarter and seven, seven and a quarter. Okay. Wow, I really don't have a lot of room to wear here, guys. Really sorry. <laughs> in case you're just joining us, I'm working in my son's bedroom on a little table. <laughs> because uh, I'm having my furnace and stuff replaced today. My air conditioning. So it's a little tight. So that's why I'm stumbling and dropping stuff. <laughs> There's an echo in your chat. On the back here. Okay. 
think I got it cut okay. <laughs> So is it just Amy hearing the echo or is everyone hearing an echo? Uh-oh. Oh, great. <laughs> there we go. Thought my uh, bottle dried up. Okay, ink the edges and then glue it down. You just like to hear me twice as much, Amy. <laughs> Who's all here? I don't even know who's here. We've got Hello Kelly and um, oh, hey Terry, how are you? All right, we're just gonna leave that off. We're just gonna glue this down, and we have to pull it up towards me so I can see you guys. I promise I will never do another class up here again. <laughs> All righty. So I'm just going to paint the edges so a second coat so I don't even have to cover those. So there's our box. Back of it. And that is this box. Well, there we go. <laughs> so that's what we're going for. Now, as far as the decorations on it, I have some really cute chipboard pieces. I've already gessoed them. Oh, okay, thanks, Kim. So they're, um, the list is in the description box. I've used some from the, uh, the gentleman's piece and the beach and mermaids and the seahorse. So I've got a little bit of everything here. And I'm going to use my paints, my twinkling H2Os, because they're awesome. I am going to need my mats again. Let's see. That and let's see. Well, I had all the colors I was going to use together, but everything got shifted. So, each house blue I'm going to use. And I think some of the greens. What is this one? Teal. It's very pretty. Uh, rainforest. Uh, Mediterranean blue. Very pretty. What's this one? I have an iridescent blue that I think might work on the mermaid. There's another blue. Mediterranean. And just a bloom. Let's see. What's this one? Ah, golden bamboo. I love golden bamboo. So I am loving these twinkling H2Os. I fondly refer to them as twinklers. <laughs> so if you've never used them before, just take the lids off. Um, they're watercolors, and you want to spritz them with a little bit of water and just paint away. Oh, that's cool. It's got blue, little blue things in it. <laughs> I 
I just got these yesterday, so I haven't used them. These are all new. Can't wait to try them. All right, I'm gonna just spritz them with my water bottle. Not in camera. How's that? <laughs> Sorry, I can't see my camera, Terry. It's not working on the computer for some reason. Maybe you can give me some lessons on that. But I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> so we're just gonna spritz it with water to activate it. It's probably too much. And then I'm gonna get one of my smaller paintbrushes out and start painting. I already just sewed all my pieces. So I can just paint right over it. This is the bamboo. I'm just gonna let it kind of, I like it like puddling. I like the puddled. <laughs> Get that. What do we have? Oh, Terry has a coupon for the Twinklers. <laughs> for the Twinkling H2Os, thanks Terry. Awesome. You can get 20% off. Very cool. So let's go with, let's do the seahorse next. You rock like that. Yes, you do. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. All right. Let's go with, Mm. I'm not even pretending to try to know what these are supposed to look like. So. <laughs> I'm just putting, you know, some pretty color on them. I'm not sure what a seahorse face looks like, so there you go. <laughs> Ooh, that is really pretty colors, too. Oops, I need a little more water. Very pretty. So I'm just dropping some pretty color on that. <laughs> so I love these colors. They're gonna look really good with the paper I'm using. I'm not sure what these are. I have to try them next. Uh, let's see, the sand dollar. Let's do a little bit of blue and a little bit of the iridescent blue. Oops, sprayed the wrong thing. Did you see that? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Got ahead of myself there. <laughs> All right. Ooh. I wish you could see this. It's like really pretty iridescent -y, like mother of pearl kind of thing. It's really pretty. Try this off a little bit more. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks like a pearl. I don't know if you can see that or not. Spread some with water, let them sit a little bit longer. Oh, okay. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of the blue. Just, just a little bit. Just to the center. Yeah, that'll work. I like that. 
So that's pretty. And I'm going to leave this white. Actually, you know what? I might not even use this. So let's leave that to the side. All right. So let me bring my box back. I'm going to use the fence. Oh, yeah. All right. So I do need to paint the fence. Let me see if I have brown. I have warm gray. With the autumn. Oh, you know what? I'll use my um, uh, my chalk paint and rust. Let's give it a little shake. I'm just gonna probably just use my finger here, just rub it on. Yeah, because I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be, you'll still be able to see some of the white through. Uh oh. <laughs> I guess all my paint. <laughs> Great. <sighs> it wouldn't be one of my classes if something didn't fall, right? All right, so I just put a little bit of brown paint on it. I'll probably go back over with some white gesso too after it dries. So we're just gonna let that dry for a minute. Hopefully, it won't take too long. And let's paint the mermaid. Is it still wet? Yeah. Let's give a little more paint water. That's true. <laughs> yes. Well, at least nothing broke. There's no liquid spilling, I don't think. No, I don't see any liquid. That's a good sign. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to use the iridescent again because it's just awesome. I'm just going to cover the whole thing with it. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> All right, and then let's see. I want to use a little bit of this blue, but I don't want too much. So let's see. Let's do this. I don't know if this will work or not. I've never done this. I think it will. It looks like it will. I just want a little bit of a wash. Cool. All right. Yes, color art and chippies are genus chippies are totally made for each other. I agree. <laughs> I'm gonna go with, with a little bit of darker. I love how it puddles and it just stays where you want it to. It's so cool. Yeah, you can make the colors lighter and darker. It's great. Okay. Let's 
that's about as much as I'm going to do. I am not a face painter, so but I think it looks nice. And I feel like I need a seashell or two. Let's do a couple seashells. And let's go back to the light, the iridescent one. I wish you guys could see this in person because just adding that little bit of iridescent would probably be enough. It really looks pearly. <laughs> like it's perfect for beach stuff. So I got that on both. I'm just going to do them both at the same time and stick with the same colors. You know, I don't know what color this is. Oh, that's really green. Maybe a little bit down here on the bottom. Just a little bit on the bottom. Oh, I like that. That is really pretty. Which one is this? Oh, of course I can't see. Oh, rainforest. Very pretty. Okay. Thanks, Cam. Go back in with some of this blue. Oh, uh, if you hear any banging, it's the repair people replacing my air conditioning and furnace. So that's why I'm upstairs in my son's room in case you're just joining us. <laughs> and I think just a little bit of this blue, in the center here. I like how you can mix all the colors together too. That's cool. Great. I think that'll work. There's this one. And this one. Let's see. Let me just grab a baby wipe. <laughs> okay. I almost hate to waste this. If I had my, um, I, should, I forgot to bring my art journal up, I would have put that all on my pages. I like to make sure I use everything. Okay. Let me just move these guys out of the way. I'm not going to put them away because I have a feeling I might add a little more. Because I have some more pieces here too that I can use. Let's see if this is dry. Pretty dry. All right. So I think we're good on that. And let me grab the bring the box back. Uh, I think I want to pop it a little bit. So I have all these little chip pieces my little mix-up mess here. <laughs> I'm just going to cut them little pieces of chipboard. <clears throat> Very easy to cut down with the Tim Holtz scissors. Usually easy. <laughs> like that. And I'm just going to glue it to the back. I use my hot glue this time. Thankfully, that piece didn't fall. <laughs> All right. Just move this over a little. All 
All right, so I just glued those two pieces to the back. And it's gonna give me a little bit of height so I can put stuff behind it. Because I have from the dollar store, you guys, they have this um, fishing net. It in, comes in green and this natural color. So I think I might just cut a piece off of that and stick behind it. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> might use that. Hey, Mary. Yay, Mary's here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue with the hot glue, the two pieces of on the one side, so then I can start filling behind it. So it'll have a 3D effect. So I just put some hot glue onto the two little extra pieces I added. And we're just gonna stick it right on the box. Ouch, that's hot. Let's sit for a minute. Okay, so that's on there, like that. And then I'm just gonna start filling in. Put this behind. Just find my little pokey tool somewhere. Oh, I brought it. Hmm, all right, I'll use a stylus. This will work. Well, actually, I just slipped it up, duh. <laughs> I just want it behind. That might be too much. Mm, too much. Take some off. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it like that, and I'm going to add this. I'm going to do the seashells to the front. Like that. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out my placement, guys. I like that. It's whatever by itself. Okay, let me just grab my glue gun. Yeah, the dollar store is awesome for craft stuff. will stay in place because the glue is dripping on the bottom of it. We can let that hang over. Get it in there. Sorry, I'm working upside down, so it's... I gotta look at it. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta pull it up so I can look at it. <laughs> There's that. I'm gonna glue that down so it stays. Just a couple of dots here and there. Uh, let's see, do I wanna fold this over or cut it? I guess I'll fold this over. I'm just going to fold it over and attach it to the side. 
instead of cutting it off because it's just a little bit left. Might as well not waste it, right? Just gonna hold it in place for a minute. So there we go. Here's our box. See, it looks like it on the side there. That's done. And now for, let's see, these pieces I'm going to use on the candy bar. And I wanted to show you how to do the pinwheel. Just close that. Sorry, I had to take a drink. <laughs> The um, here's the cover for the post-it note that goes inside. It's a very just basic. Opens inside like that. Mm -hmm. You want to go to the beach? <laughs> Actually, that's where we're going this weekend, Father's Day. So we're gonna do that, and actually. Need to check my measurements here real quick. So it's a standard uh, post-it notes, and you're going to cut your paper um, seven and a half. This is your main piece, seven and a half by three and a quarter. I'll just borrow one of these post-its. <laughs> So seven and a half by three and a quarter for the main piece that we're going to cut. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, move this out of the way. Let's do the three and a quarter. I, if I were claustrophobic, I would imagine this is what it feels like. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do the seven and a half. Let's see, that'll be the base piece, like that. And then we're going to score. If I can find my scoreboard. Okay, this is I guess just I have my paper downstairs, fortunately. So I'm just kind of folding it over. And eyeballing it, holding it up, and then over. Look at that, I didn't even need the scoreboard. How about that? <laughs> Yay. And then we're just going to glue it in place. Like that. You can uh, reinforce the score lines. Bye, Mary. Like that. 
that's lined up. There's the bun folder for that. And I'm just going to line this up even because I don't know why this came out too long. I must have. And I'm just going to cut that off at the bottom so it'll be the same size. So there's our cover. Where are the post in it? And I'm going to use a piece of the pretty paper. Oh, yeah. I really like this. And then this crab is really cute too. Decisions, I can't make it. <laughs> okay, here's my paper. That could look cool. I'm really liking the crab though. All right, we're gonna do the crab. Just cutting around the piece. You don't want to cut through the whole page. Just what I need. Take that out. So here's our Mr. Crab. <laughs> and probably should keep this out for a minute. So this will go on the front. So it's going to go across the front like that. I'm just going to ink the edges real quick. You were pulling for the crab. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm using the gathered twig again. Let's see the edges. And I'm just going to glue this in place. If I should add, no, that's good. That's good enough. <laughs> Paper is pretty on the back of this too. It's a nice pattern. Pretty like a navy blue. It's very pretty. See? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna have to pick it up again so I can see where I'm gluing it. And there's our little crab. <laughs> That. And the inside piece, you can add, like this one I added, more paper. Uh, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do that today. I'm just going to add a piece of ribbon. Um, I did not bring the ribbon up I wanted to use. Let's go with, uh, let's use some twine. That'll work, right? I'm just going to, you know what I am going to have to use a piece of paper. Okay. So my measurements were, where to go? Uh, seven and a half by three and a fourth. Okay. Change it on the fly here. <laughs> Uh, let's put some blue in. I love this blue. It's like a the blue gray color. So it's three and a quarter. Okay. 
And then each piece would be, yeah, it does look beachy on. Uh, I need two pieces that are uh, three inches. So I'll cut two three inch pieces off of this. And those will go here. Hmm. You need to cut a little bit more off of that. Yeah. Just gonna have to trim it down just a tiny bit. So it's a little too much. That's better. I wanted some of the brown to still show. So I got that. How am I doing on time, guys? Oh my gosh, it's 11:20 already. That was fast. <laughs> and then a little piece for the center. Um, just guesstimating on that one. Mm, maybe a little bigger. And then I'll make it the same as, width as the other two pieces. I'm just going to trip it, trim it real quick. And there are my inside pieces. Ink. I'm just grabbing the edges a little bit, not even not a whole lot of inking. Now I need my twine, or whatever you want to call this. <laughs> Cut a piece off. Put that in place. In the center there. Something. There we go. So I'm going to weight it down a little. <laughs> I think I'm going to use mm, some score tape. This is an eighth inch score tape. Right down the middle. Piece of it. Hopefully you guys can see. I'll just press that on there. Okay, and then do the same to the other side. Help keep it in place while I glue the papers on. Like that. Okay, now I can glue on the papers with my quick dry, Scott's quick dry. And I seem to have left the lid off too long. There we go. A little glue. Sandwich that in between the two pieces of paper. That one. And then the little piece in the center. Right down the middle. 
to even it out. Well, kind of even. It's going to stay now because <laughs> it, it does dry quick. <laughs> so there we go, the inside of our little container, our little cover. And we're just going to, I use, um, you take the back piece off. And I use a little bit of score tape to hold it in place because I had one fall out already. So the score tape really helps hold it in place. So I'm just going to put like three or four pieces on. Take those off. Yeah, I like the fine line too. Fine liner. So let's make sure I'm doing it the right way. <laughs> this will be the bottom. Just I'm gonna have to pull it up to me again. Sorry guys. Score tape is not very forgiving. I think that'll work. A little squeeze. <laughs> Alright, and there we go. And we'll just tie it. So that'll go inside of our bag or our box. Tie it in a bow, cut off the excess. Oh, sorry about the banging, they're carrying stuff out. <laughs> Not a very good bow. Oops. Not a good bow at all. <laughs> so anyway, that would be a bow. <laughs> and it would go inside of our box. It'll go inside. Now, I, I'm thinking I'm almost out of time. Oh, thanks, Shannon. Yeah, I think uh, I'm trying to think. I have a couple other pieces to make, but it's going to take longer than I have. So I think what I'm going to do is do another video, and I'll put it. I'll do a YouTube video to finish it off. Does that sound okay? Because I still have. I still need to make one of these covered with a matching paper. And I wanted to do the two toppers for the pencils. And that's going to take too long to do. But this is what I have so far. Bye, Terry. Thank you. <laughs> So let me just put this one back together so you can see what a finished one looks like. This one there. And that goes like that. So that's what the finished one will look like. I don't know if I, I don't know if I have it on. I still don't have a camera, you guys. I did this whole class without seeing what I was doing. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. All right. So I will do a class or a, a video. Thank you, Amy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Um, so I'll do a class or not a class, a video and show you uh, the finished product and how I did the pencils and the candy bar and um, I'll do it downstairs where I have more arm room because <laughs> this is really bummer <laughs> uh, so um, I can't think of anything else Kim am I forgetting anything
We love the pencils. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Barbara. Bye. Thank you, Shannon. First live class and you left. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Cool. <laughs> I'd like to say I'm a little more organized, but not really, <laughs> usually. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. <laughs> Uh, don't forget, Gina, the coupon code uh, for Gina's is coming up in a minute um, I, to get a percentage off of the stuff in, her, in Gina's store. Oh, thanks. Flowers and more by Rhonda. Thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Amy twisted your arm. Way to go, Amy. <laughs> okay. Um, Kim has just posted the, the coupon code that you need to get, um, I think it's 10% off in Gina's store. And if you're international, email Gina with the code. Use the code when you check out to get, to get the percentage off. Okay. Do I need, was there anything else I needed to talk about, Kim? My next uh, project is going to be um, uh, a surfboard. So that'll be fun. I'll be probably the same color scheme too. <laughs> I'm really liking these colors. All right, so I'm not even sure how to end this. Uh, Yeah, please subscribe and thumbs up for uh, for the YouTube channel here. And you should check out our craft group, too, on Facebook. We have a lot of fun stuff we do there and challenges. Awesome. So, Kim, I have a silly question. I'm not sure how to stop, <laughs> how to stop the class. <laughs> Uh, do I go into control room maybe?